I am back several days later, like maybe weeks actually. Uh, there have been a lot of things happening within doing the house. And so after the repairs, attic, all of that type of, the roof, all of that type of stuff. Then I had someone come out because the insulation was removed from the area. So I needed to re-insulate the attic um, because I have spray foam insulation up there. So I had to redo the spray foam up there. And um, with that, I decided to also replace the furnace to get the 90% furnace that is supposed to be used for houses that are spray foamed in the attic. So if you have a gas furnace type thing, so I had that replaced. And then yesterday I had the insulation. Um, we filled in the gaps that were missing and then they sprayed the entire attic because when the guy came in, he said, you don't have enough up there. So I went ahead and decided to do that. I went through and bought new curtains because I'm just like, I wanted everything to match and I couldn't get the same curtains before to match Plus the ones that I had here had shrunk the last time I had put them in the wash. There are some kittens screaming at me right now. Um, <laughs> but we are back. Um, since then, my mom has repainted the ceiling, repainted the walls that are here in the dining room, and she, she did most of the work. I unfortunately was on vacation, but had to log in several times. So while I was logged in doing the stuff I needed to do, my mom came in here and helped me. So I'm very grateful to my mom because she did help me do that and everything. So, but she did paint the trim, although I think I want to do another coat of trim or another coat of paint on the trim because the bottom layer, I did not replace the baseboards because I figure when I go to redo the ha the floors, like when I actually can afford the flooring and everything, when I go through to do those, that I'm just gonna get like the one by six, one by four, one by six, something like that type of baseboards and do them that throughout the whole house and um, not worry about that right now. But because we had carpet in the house, the like inch from the concrete up to where the carpet was at was still the original color and had never been repainted through all the years so um it is much darker yellow than the white that was up there on top of it um so like it was layered and um so down there at the bottom part you can't see it on camera very well because it just looks white but i can see a couple spots where it's definitely much darker and since it's like this one is right below the pictures right here for the like right in this area it's i'm not pointing to this area right here um the it's visible so it's like i can see it so it's going to bother me if i can see it another thing that i did replace and one thing i still need to go to the hardware store for because it's not the right thing but um just so that way i could cover up the electrical things so i bought these they you can keep your existing almond colored or brown colored outlet sockets but this can cover the outlet when turning everything white so i've done that over here on this wall right here and also on the electrical outlet it's hiding behind the curtain somewhere in this area over there i did not change the one that is here in the wallpaper because that the almond color actually kind of matches with the wallpaper so i did not touch that one and then the other thing i did was i changed out the face plate for the dimmer switch right here and i got a knob but the knob doesn't fit on there right so so the face plate was easy to replace because I just needed to get like a toggle switch face plate because that was what was on there before was one of the toggle switches um, face plates. So I got that. So I just need to, this is the almond colored one that I took off of this one. I need to take this to the hardware store and um, find one that actually will fit. So it's like, it's on there, but it's not secure. So if you pulled on it, it would, it easily would come off. So I want to get something that will actually latch onto it and not come off very easily. So, um, 
I just did that. So I did get these. Um, I got the, the white knob from Amazon and I also got these from Amazon as well. And I have so many of them that <laughs> I thought I was ordering only two face plates, but in fact it was two packets of six. So, which is good because I need to go around to some of the other outlets around the house because I don't want to go. I know other people will replace the outlet things, but I just don't trust myself with electrical. So this is the extent of the electrical work that I will be doing uh, and changing out the face plates around, at least in the front part of the house. I know I may have another packet of these somewhere. I think I saw them when I was pulling stuff out of one of the in one of the boxes that's sitting out here. So um, I have even more that I can go through and replace and everything. Um, but that's what's done in here. So I am gonna go ahead on this and vacuum up the cat hair because I, when you have three older cats and three kittens, although the kittens only stayed in here a couple of times and they were in the playpen, but, um, and I did let them out a little bit before I put the dining room table back in. Anyways, I digress. Um, I'm gonna vacuum up in here and get the cat hair and any debris, cat litter, that type of stuff. And then I would just grab my e-cloth mop, but uh, there are some spots where it needs to be scrubbed a little bit better. So since it's such a small floor, I'm just gonna take my e-cloth mop and get it wet, like the pad, get it wet and use this and you know, not pull out the actual mop and everything because I need to get the cl floor clean and I may actually have to put another layer of stain on the floor um, because there are definitely, or at least patch up some areas because there are some scratches that occurred and some areas where the suction cups on the bottom of the playpen actually pulled up some of the stain. So I'm gonna have to do some sanding and then um, probably pull out the stain and retouch those spots and then um, wait the two hours to let everything dry. And then I definitely want to start putting clear coats on this today and get this going because I want to get my house back in order and everything. So um, that is where we are at right now. So I am gonna go vacuum, get this wet, pull up the curtains, like pull up, meaning put them on the windowsill, um, or get some scrunchies and you know tie them up so that they're not dangling on the floor while all of this is happening. So um, that's where we're at right now. Talking to each other, I know we feel the same about the situation, like we're stuck inside a game. Time to get out of this circle, yeah, we both carry a scar. Let's rewrite the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance, not like anything we've done before, oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Don't be afraid We'll be okay And I know it's the right thing to do Let's break away All colors will fade Let's go our own way We're at the part where I'm gonna be doing the clear coat and like I said, it doesn't quite dry clear. It has a yellowish tint to it, yellow, pink, yellow, orangey. And over time, I have noticed that it is yellowing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I brought, and I know I should not be doing this over the stove, but that's where I'm doing it. Um, so two little cups and I'm gonna do half and half, half, so I'm gonna do two scoops, or you know, 
I'm gonna do one for one. So one of this, one of that, and try to get it to where it's mixing together, at least for the first round. And then I may add more top coat to the next round, but I'm gonna mix it in a mason jar and go from there. So this is just easier for me to dip into the stain than anything. So. Like I said, I know I should not be doing this over the stove, but you know what? Desperate times. Stay needs to be stirred up a little bit. Is this our destiny? Just like it was meant to be. Yeah. This was the brush that I used. I did one more coat around the edges of the stain, what was left in the pan, and then um, also went over some of the areas that need to be touched up after doing the one slather. But I'm gonna use this to go around the edges, and then I'll use the same roller that I used before and not doing any cleaning. And since I'm trying to use the same type of stain and all of that, that is the plan. Baseboards. Like I said, I'm going to start on the side with the um, window because I want to put the curtains down the night. So it does take, it does say two to four hours before painting. So um, I'm not going to paint tonight, although it might, but I doubt it. Um, so, but in that area, there's larger gaps that I may have to come back in tomorrow and fill up. I also have a roll of not a roll but lots of paper towels that are wet and that will help me with running my finger along the edge and I was gonna see I'm gonna grab a piece of cardboard that way I can kind of as I'm and I put gloves on because I always get really dirty when I'm doing this because running my finger along the edges so um We're holding back each other and the things we do, it's all so blue. Yeah, what if we could grow just like the flowers through the concrete, just you and me? last final step before we can move furniture into the room and that I have to wait the rest of today all of tomorrow which is Monday and all of Tuesday and then I can start moving furniture in but I'm probably not gonna move furniture in until the weekend because I have to work during the week so 
um, it can get a bit chaotic and I just don't want to deal with moving all of that. I just, I want to set aside some time on a weekend, maybe Friday night, something like that, to do all of that. Um, but the caulk is, I don't have to put any more down. I just need to paint the baseboards again, put a fourth coat on there, and hopefully that will be the last and final coat. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day because I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay because I found my way. but I will get a closer up. Um, but I have, where over the years when we've repainted this, we've kind of gone over on the wood and um, soap and water. <laughs> a little bit of this. This is my own homemade power wash. Um, I use Dawn dish soap, rubbing alcohol and water in this. And I'm using this little scrub pad and this to wipe it off. This is not even wet. This is just, I spray it on here like this. And I'm just going, just scrubbing it off, scrubbing the paint off. That's over here. A little bit of elbow grease, a little bit, but not much. In the areas where there's a little bit more, it does take a little bit more. room I have already put the rug down to kind of let it it came folded I don't know if you can see but there's still a crease right down the middle eventually it will work itself out but it is a very lightweight washable rug it is exactly the same pattern that I have in the hallway kind of just putting things you know I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the rug here because it is quite large so I'm going to test it out with the table and the chairs and all of that to see if um, by what I say I'm not going to keep it I'm not going to keep it in here once I start removing the carpet I might put it say in the TV room or somewhere like that or in one of the bedrooms office something like that um, because it is such a large um, I thought it would be good but I don't want the chairs when you're sitting in the chairs to have the back legs sticking off of it because when you go to scoot the chairs then they get stuck on the rug and all of that. So um, we're gonna test this out and see it. It is, it is a lot darker. You really can't see it because it does look a lot lighter, but when you look at the room, it does kind of ground it a little bit, but I'm gonna have to see once I have the table in here because the table is dark and I don't want the room to be dark. The reason why I've been painting everything more of light shades white, I mean, why the floor is underneath all of this is white, is because I've been wanting the house to feel light and bright. And I don't want something to be too dark in a smaller room 
and just feel weighted down. So we'll see what it looks like. It, I may feel like that because the wallpaper's back there and once I put the bookcases back there, maybe I might change my mind. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and get started. One thing I am gonna do first, I need to find them. I think this is the box. I need to open the box. But I, the curtains that I have, I went ahead and put like the um, back tab, put the rod through the back tab and it's just, it's not easy to get them open. They get stuck a little bit. So I am going to, I bought some rings with hooks and try to do it that way. That, and they also are kind of dragging on the ground a little bit, which I have no problem with, but I know it's not quite. They, they have a nice little billow effect a little bit, but see if I can't raise them up just to you know, go higher and all of that. Um, but basically it's rings with hooks. So I would put the hook along the back side of the curtain and it's not one of the, the rings with the, the clip because that would actually make the curtains hang lower than what I really want and um, all of that. So I also bought a bunch of felt pads to put on furniture <laughs> so um, it doesn't scratch up stuff. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I think, I have the cur the not curtain, the rug far enough away from that back wall so that way the bookcases are not sitting on the carpet on the rug. And I wanted that mainly because if I need to wash the rug, I don't want to have to empty out the the bookcases to pull out the rug in a way. So I am gonna go ahead and get started with going ahead and pulling the curtains down and trying to put the hooks on, and then from there I'm gonna have to work on what you don't see behind the camera right now, which you will a little bit later, but I'm ready to get this house <laughs> in somewhat of an organized manner because I'm tired of my front room just being a pigsty, looking like a pigsty. It isn't a pigsty, but it's looking like one. Um, and I know I can't get rid of some of the stuff because it's for the guest bedroom, but at least get the dining room table back in the room it's supposed to be in, get the stuff that's on the dining room table back into the cabinets and you know just have a little bit more peace of mind somewhere around here. So I'm gonna go up in this box and the next time you see me I will be I will have pulled the curtains down again to start putting the hooks on and everything.
but we're always coming back for more Egos in this wicked game, it's all for sure Oh, I've got you I painted at one of those paint and drink things. Um, I forget what it was a wine that they that's in there. Um, but I didn't drink wine, anyways. Um, which is Hogwarts. So since it is fall time, that's a good one. And then the only other artwork I have is this, which this is actually a plastic bag from Barnes and Noble that I cut up and framed and it is uh, the Dorothy Wicked Witch <sighs> Wizard of Oz <laughs> I was thinking Gone with the Wind I mean Dorothy was Gone with the Wind uh, but not not Scarlet but anyways so I'm gonna hang these up and see which one I like better it's probably going to be the Dorothy just because it's kind of minimal in a way. So we'll see. That and it's framed so it kind of looks decent. This isn't framed. So. I'm not feeling that either, but I don't have any other artwork that I can think of that's, you know, decent. But my only other option is one that was in my office. It's the same thing except for it's Alice in Wonderland, and, um, but it, the, the beige is not as yellow as this is. This is really yellow. I like that better. It's not as yellow. So, we're done. <laughs> well, here are the looks of the final thing. I did a whole bunch of stuff and my mom helped me out with everything that happened in this room. I am just happy to have all the water damage gone 
and the carpet removed and I did have to bump this up on my projects list because you know mother nature kind of helped out with that process but I am so happy with the results it's very light and bright even with the shade pulled in the middle of the day you'll see at the very end of the clips that the room is very light and bright and just makes me happy even with the dark furniture and the darker rug and everything but I will be working on the guest bedroom here coming up I still have to go buy some stuff for it but I will be filming the process as I go through there however I did not film when I ripped out the carpet so the carpet is already gone but um, it is the kitten nursery right now the guest room so uh, we're hoping to get the kittens out of there and be able to move the bedroom furniture in there by the end of October maybe um, we'll see. So I hope that you guys will check back on those videos when I get done. Thank you everybody and have a wonderful time, wonderful week whenever you see this. Bye everybody.